Hi, I'm Margaret Harris, Physics World's Careers Editor, and I'm talking today about the latest issue of the magazine, October 2014, and in particular about an article I've written for the Graduate Career section in the magazine. So this is a section we do twice a year. Um, we focus particularly on issues uh, that are important to recent graduates and current students in physics, and there's also an expanded section of recruitment in the back of it. So this month we've um, I've written about an issue that's been bugging me for quite some time, and that's something called the STEM shortage. Now, what's a STEM shortage? Well, STEM is an acronym. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And the idea of a STEM shortage is, is that the notion that the UK, along with several other countries in the world, is experiencing a real sh a lack of people with the sort of scientific and technological skills that are required for the workforce to be able to be competitive in this you know, 21st century economy. And you see a lot of, if you follow the news, you'll see a lot of reports about the STEM shortage. In it. And one thing that's interesting about this is the numbers seem to vary quite a lot, as in the number of how many people were short in science and engineering. I mean, I've seen reports that we need 87,000 new engineers every year for a decade to fill the gap. I've also seen reports that we need you know, maybe 10,000 STEM graduates in all disciplines every year. That's quite a big gap, and there's there's are some bigger ones, and this is a, it's a big gap even though these are quite respectable organizations that are making these claims. So that's a little bit strange. The other thing that's a bit strange is that as it happens in the past year, um, four different members of my family, all of whom have STEM degrees, have for one reason or another been on the job market, and you know their experiences have been maybe not quite what you'd expect if in an economy that's really suffering from a shortage of people with their skills. I mean, one of them did walk straight into a job, pretty much. But the others have all, you know, they've really struggled. They've been unemployed for, you know, at least six months. They've racked up lots of rejections. One of them is, in fact, still looking for a job now. And that seems funny to me. As I said, if there's such a shortage of people with their skills, why are they struggling? Now, of course, this is just one family. This is an anecdote. It may not apply to everybody. But interestingly, some of the data on unemployment for among new graduates in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics really back up these experiences. Um, the unemployment rates for graduates, not just in physics, but also in chemistry, biology, some disciplines of engineering, computer science, mathematics, they're actually higher than the unemployment rates for graduates in all degrees. And again, that's funny. You know, in, if a time when industry is really crying out for people with these skills, why are so many graduates in these STEM disciplines find, finding it difficult to, to find their first job? And that's what I've looked at in, in this article. I've looked at four different possible reasons for why th this sort of what I'm calling a STEM shortage paradox might exist. To find out what those reasons are, you'll need to read the article. Thanks. <laughs>